Hello and welcome to yet another Java video. In this video I am going to show you some different ways on how to use methods. So basically a method is something that you can call from a different location of your code. We have already used it in every video this far. As you can see over here we actually call the method program which we created and the public static void main is also a method. But now we're going to create a little bit more advanced methods. So I'm going to create a new package, video 7. I'm going to tap out and create methods. And then I'm just going to take the video 3 and copy paste this. Change this to methods. And the methods. Here now we have two methods, our main method and our program method. I'm going, to, I'm going to initialize two numbers and it's going to be int number 1 which is going to be 50 and the number 2 will be equal to 90, 93, 92, why not. And now we're actually going to create methods that will return a value. An, ordi an ordinary method is something like this, public void and then whatever the name of it. But we can what you can actually do is you can create so called parameters inside your method. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. So we're going to create a method that will add our numbers together and then display it in the console. So public void I'm going to name it add. And then inside the parenthesis over here we're going to we are going to tap out our parameters. So basically, if you want a par if you want parameters, you do something like this: int a, int b, which will actually give us two parameters. So basically, whenever you call a method, you need to type in two int variables, for example, number one or number two. So if you were to call it, you can't simply do this like we do with our program. You will get an error and it will tell you to add argument int int which is actually going to be our number one and number two that we initialized over here and what we're going to do now is we're going to display the result and the result is going to going to be equal to a plus b basically we can use these values inside of the method so the result will be equal to a plus b so we're going to type it out print line a plus b equals to plus result so something like that and it should tap out 50 plus 92 is equal to 142 and we can actually add other kinds of parameters too, for example we're going to print out a message public void print, we're going to take a string object inside the parameters and call it msg for short for message and we're simply going to print out the message and now when we need to call it we need to actually use an and so now when we're going to call it we need to type out a string we could either create an uh, object string and then assign it a value for example string message equal to hello or we could just tap out for example world or whatever inside of it directly sorry it should be print and you can also do it inside the int for example 500 or something like, th like that and it will add 500 plus 92 Whoops. And as you can see, our print method works perfectly. We print out the word world. So that was all for this video. In the next video I'm going to show you a little bit more about methods. And after that we are probably going to move on to classes. So if you like my videos, please subscribe to the channel and give the videos a thumbs up. And maybe even share the videos, it would really help a lot. So stay tuned for the next video, hopefully I will see you then. Bye-bye.